Officials warn we could be seeing these high prices as long as there's conflict between Russia and Ukraine. Rachel Perry has been digging into the reasons behind the increased costs. Rachel, why are prices at the pump so high? Mimi and Eric, that seems to be a question a lot of us are asking. One expert tells me it's complicated. Between post-pandemic life, the war in Ukraine, and the spring break season, he only has one way of summing it up. It, it's, it's, it's like a perfect storm. Filling up your tank, a chore most are dreading as gas prices in the state line rise to more than four and a half dollars. But how did we get here? NIU economics professor Jeremy Groves explains. Maybe 30 or so percent is from the Ukrainian thing, and a lot of it is just people driving more. And, and that's pushing up that inflation price, and that then is going into the value of uh, the gasoline. Grove says the U.S. gets about 8% of its oil from Russia, while others depend on it. But if you look at the numbers, a lot of the EU countries get uh, large percentages to almost all of their oil and natural gas from, from Russia. Now that some of those countries have cut ties with Russia, Groves tells me the United States will have to meet that oil demand. But the question is, are we ready? The short answer to that question is no, not for about another six to nine months. And that's assuming we can find people to actually work, uh, you know, which is another issue that we have to concern ourselves with. While the price to drive is going up, one travel expert isn't sure how it will impact flights. The answer is it's complicated. But Kyle Potter with Thrifty Traveler says the short answer is yes. Um, the bad news is, is that, you know, jet fuel prices are based on gas prices. And that is the, like, the second biggest cost for airlines. And airline executives have said recently that as the gas prices increase, they're going to have to pass that cost on to consumers. The good news, though, Groves feels it won't stay like this for long. I mean, if it hits $5, it, it's going to be in a few places and it won't stay long. According to Gas Buddy, gas prices are usually cheaper in the beginning of the week, then can inch up towards the weekend. Mimi.